Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology. Let's see what this war has in store for us today. The Russians, it appears, are seeking to regain the offensive initiative they lost at the beginning of the war. They've abandoned their primarily defensive strategy, flying over 100 sorties against coalition air bases over the last 48 hours. If you thought this thing couldn't get any hotter, think again. The Russian command in western Ukraine is currently relying on the Netishan power plant for electricity. You're going to lead a strike on the plant's relay stations. Do not strike the cooling tower or reactor. I can't emphasize this enough. We don't want to be accused of engaging in ecological terrorism, okay? Power Lord, USS Eisenhower, CVN 69, date May 28th, local time 0530 hours, weather clear. Situation, Ukraine is heavily dependent on nuclear power for its energy needs. Electrical facilities within the Ukrainian theater must be eliminated to deny power to the occupying Russian forces. This objective, use precision munitions to take out the relay stations and other buildings associated with the Natishan nuclear power plant. Order of battle, recommended aircraft, FA-18D, recommended weapons, aim. AGM-84E, AIM-120, Threat Suppression Data Ground Opposition, Possible ZSU-23s and ZSU-57s, Air Opposition, Possible MiG-29s and SU-27s. So we have one good wingman, we're gonna roll in, hit the target, and head back to the carrier. Now, um, we'll take this, we're gonna take a flare pod, and uh, we're gonna take these slams because I think we could definitely use the standoff range. We'll take four just in case because I don't know how many relays there's gonna be. And sidewinders and am rams are self defense. And we see someone's locking onto us already. Five o'clock low. It's weird because I don't see anyone next to us. So here's the power plant that we have to strike. It's not much of it is showing up on uh, the radar now. It's right next to that bridge. For now, I think. We can just deal with these flankers that are coming in. There we go, near span at 12 o'clock, kind of what I was talking about earlier. May as well throw in our jammers, they already know we're here. And the same site is running in on the farm. Ooh, that is pretty good. And we do have system damage. Nothing critical. But uh, we aren't going to be maneuvering very well. I didn't see what got hit exactly. Final front of this. 30 miles, 1 o'clock. So that's a demonstration of why we're going to be using these standoff weapons as soon as we can discriminate our targets from each other. And unfortunately they're very close together but you can see they have trucks and SAM sites and all sorts of protection there, so we don't want to get 
too close to it. Right there, that whole block. There we go. Relay mission objective. like there's three relays so taking the four T lamps was a fairly One good choice. Do not want to get within range of their triple A. Five miles. There we go. We'll pass through this clock here. And that should be the final relay. Alright, we have system damage to something. Thing I will say that I don't like about the Hornet is Contact. it's extremely Thanks. limited chaff capacity, at least as it's modeled in this game. I don't know how much chaff it actually carries, but I think they give us, what, 50 chaff modules for uh, this Oh, 30, okay. And we see there's a uh, bandit homing in on us. We'll send our wingman forward to engage. Maybe he can soak up some of the damage for us. Flanker for our wingman. 
And now all we have to do is survive the trip home. Which, looking at all the SAM sites popping up on our radar, might be fairly difficult. Three, three miles, 11 o'clock. Two, nine miles, 11 o'clock. Well, there's a tempting target. So they have blackjack bombers stationed at Odessa right now. Oh. That's unfortunate. Now those are strategic bombers, uh, equivalent to the US B-1B bomber, in that it's a super large supersonic bomber. They have it protected though. If I wasn't damaged, I'd make it run for it, but. As it is, I don't even know if we'll evade this missile. Fortunately, we did, but yeah, I think going after those bombers is out of the question, which is a shame because those would be a huge target of opportunity. Got three of them there like that, but I mean, those things would be the bane of our carrier group, really. And I don't think we've had to fight them yet, but we will in a future mission. I remember that much. How are we doing that? 5,000 pounds. Okay, so, not great, but not terrible. So all that's left is to make it back to the carrier group, which is finally on our radar screen. Let's see if I can actually get the... Come on. There's a carrier in there somewhere. There we go. Switch our HUD to navigation mode. And we'll probably get a message about how we're doing an emergency landing. Our aircraft doesn't break when we touch down. Lower. Three miles. With 75% structural integrity Lower. damage, that certainly is a uh, risk. There. Lower. 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 Okay, we got two nautical miles out of closing. Lower. Lower. Higher. Lower. Call the ball. Lower. 
lower, lower, too much bag, higher, on the ball. Ah, missed the wires. Oh, hey, I have a helicopter. So we'll have to go around for another pass, but... Woo! <laughs> That's so why you gotta be careful with your time compression. I'm kind of curious as to which of our control surfaces got damaged because I'm not noticing too much sluggishness in any of the controls. Go right. Four miles. Three miles. Two miles. It's a bit too much speed there. One mile. Lower. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Ah, what are you doing? I don't think I've ever seen that before, but we somehow got a good landing and our wigman is apparently going to take off again. And there he goes. So, our hook didn't go up, which to me means that it didn't catch it, but whatever, we got a good landing out of it. <laughs> Debrief, USS Eisenhower CVN-69, date May 28th, mission power load, resolution success, excellent example of precision bombing, you can bet that part of the country will be blacked out for the duration of the war. Although I can't help but think of all the uh, civilians that are also going to be without power, hospitals, grocery stores, schools, but we didn't hit the generators or the cooling tower so at least there won't be a nuclear meltdown so we took 75% damage we had a 75% landing grade our wingman had a 56% landing grade and no damage we each took uh, ace flanker and we took out the uh, three relays and both our amrams hit both his amrams hit and then we lost one of our slams uh, going after those blackjacks because it didn't work right. It was the area lines, huh? Okay. So let's get this Hornet to almost uh, flight worthy status and let's hope that uh, let's hope we don't keep tearing through the Hornets like we have been. So I guess that's it for the morning mission and we'll see you next time when we do the afternoon mission. So, we'll see you then.